Government buildings serve as a place for people to run a country, and because these venues are so important, they're usually some of the grandest and most lavish structures of all. While government buildings are designed for business, some countries opt to put on a show when it comes to their architectural styles. The designs reflect each country's culture, which is apparent in the colors, shapes, textiles, and materials used to construct each one. Welcome to Mega Luxury! Before we begin, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss amazing videos like this from us. From those that date back many centuries to those that are far more modern in design, it's time to look at the top 10 most beautiful government buildings. Number 1. Union Buildings, Pretoria, South Africa the Union buildings are considered to be one of South Africa's most exceptional pieces of architecture. The buildings are one of the centers of political life in South Africa. The buildings and Arcadia have become metonymy for the South African government. It has become an iconic landmark of Pretoria and South Africa in general, and is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the city and an emblem of democracy. Built in 1913 in the capital city of Pretoria, these buildings house the offices of the President of South Africa, according to South African History Online. The sprawling sandstone buildings were built on top of the hill Mientieska, making the Union buildings a focal point of the town. Lined with elaborate gardens of indigenous plants, these buildings serve not only as the official seat of government in South Africa, but are also a venue for important events and protests. Number 2. The Palace of the Argentine National Congress, Buenos Aires, Argentina The palace is a monumental building, seat of the Argentine National Congress, located in the city of Buenos Aires. It is located in the barrio of Balvanera, at its limit with Montserrat, an area formerly known as the Congreso neighborhood. The kilometer zero for all Argentine national highways is marked on a milestone at the Congressional Plaza next to the building. The Palace of the Argentine National Congress is a neoclassical building located in Argentina's capital city, Buenos Aires. Construction of this national historic landmark began in 1898, with the building making its debut in 1906, though it wasn't completely finished until 1946, according to Travel Buenos Aires. However, it has been the home of Argentina's Congress since 1906. The white marble building is known for its 260-foot bronze dome that has been weathered to its current green color today. Visitors can take advantage of the free guided tours of the expansive interior. Number 3. Parliament House, Canberra, Australia Parliament House, also referred to as Capitol Hill, is the meeting place of the Parliament of Australia and the seat of the legislative branch of the Australian government. It was opened on the 9th of May 1988 by Elizabeth II, Queen of Australia. It costs more than 1.1 billion Australian dollars, which is equivalent to almost 5 billion US dollars as of today. This building had a unique start. Its design was chosen from an international competition of over 320 entries to build an open concept parliament building, according to Parliament of Australia. The goal was to make the design not only a functional government building, but also a national symbol. Throughout the building, echoes of the Australian landscape can be seen, such as the muted pinks and greens of the marble interior and the red Christmas bush granite pavers on the forecourt, mined locally in South Wales. Number 4. The Storting, Oslo, Norway The Storting building is the home of Norway's National Assembly, called the Storting. Located in Oslo, it has been the home of the Norwegian parliament since 1866, according to Visit Norway. Swedish architect Emil Victor Langlet used eclecticism to design the building, taking aspects from prior architectural periods to create something new. The unique H-shaped floor plan has two semicircles on its cross axis, creating a bold facade. Take a free guided tour of this yellow brick parliament house on your next visit to Oslo. Number 5. House of the National Assembly of the Republic of Serbia, Belgrade, Serbia The House of the National Assembly of Serbia took over 30 years to be constructed and opened in 1936 in Belgrade, the capital of Serbia. Much of the interior can be described as simple and dignified, with a combination of wood paneling and marble throughout the main halls. 
While it has many impressive architectural features, a notable stop on the tour is the Salon of Prince Pavel. A luxurious diplomatic reception room with walls of ornate silk carpets and impressive woodwork on the ceiling. Number 6. Parliament Hill, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada Parliament Hill is a collection of buildings in Ottawa, Ontario, the capital of Canada, that have been home to the Parliament of Canada since 1859. These Gothic revival buildings overtook the Ottawa River, offering picturesque views that make this location one of Canada's most iconic sites. The grounds of Parliament Hill hold year-round events that are open to the public, such as changing of the guard, a holiday light display and fitness events such as yoga. Number 7. United States Capitol Building, Washington, D.C., United States The U.S. Capitol Building is home to Congress, the legislative branch of the federal government in Washington, D.C., America's capital city. This 19th century neoclassical style design was found during a national competition that was suggested by President George Washington to seek out the best plan for the congressional building, according to the National Park Service. Construction on the building began in 1793, was halted many times for wars, fires, and political reasons, and was finally completed in 1960 after many renovations and additions. The Capitol building is located on the National Mall and can be visited year-round. Number 8. The Binnenhof Hague, Netherlands the Binnenhof is a collection of Gothic-style buildings in The Hague, a coastal city of the Western Netherlands. This location is a central point of politics in the Netherlands. It is the meeting place of the States General of the Netherlands, the Ministry of General Affairs, and the Office of the Prime Minister of the Netherlands. The Redesiral Hall of Knights is the most famous section of the Binnenhof and has been around since the 13th century, when it was the castle of the Counts of Holland. Take a tour of the Hall of Knights and other buildings in the complex to learn more about the Dutch Parliament. Number 9. Palace of Westminster, London, England The Palace of Westminster has been the central location of over 900 years of British political history. Located in London, the capital of England, Westminster Hall is the oldest building on the parliamentary estate. However, the hall is often overshadowed by Big Ben, the famous clock tower and tourist hotspot also located on the estate. Today, the hall is home to the UK Parliament and is always open to visitors wanting to learn more about the country's politics. Number 10. Hungarian Parliament Building, Budapest, Hungary The Parliament of Budapest is the top tourist attraction in this capital city for a good reason. The Gothic and Renaissance revival styles of the building give it an ornamental look straight out of the fairy tale. The massive structure is the third largest parliament building in the world, with 691 rooms and over 12 miles of stairs according to Visit Budapest. This magnificent building is located in the Kossuth Square on the Danube River. If you enjoyed this video, then I'm sure you're going to enjoy Why Are Dubai's Apartments Half Empty on our channel. Make sure to click the subscribe button for the future notifications and never miss our videos. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.